you know, let, let's use that cricketing analogy to talk about what you've been actually able to do as far as last nine is concerned. Yeah. One of your investors said that you bring peace to a cricket war room. <laughs> Essentially, that's what last nine does. Uh, yeah. And of course, that would apply to many other war rooms that, uh, that deploy uh, what you uh, put out there in the marketplace. Explain to us what you've been able to capture, what you've been able to leverage on. Yeah, so I think uh, an interesting analogy that I like to talk about is of a self-driving car. Uh, where essentially I think the earliest forms of automation was probably at best an adaptive cruise control. Uh, but if you look at full self-driving, it's gone through technically from a four different phases, right? There's hands off, uh, legs off, eyes off and off the seat. You still need to be able to sort of pair with the car in a way to yeah. be able to sort of control and maneuver it in some form. Uh, what we've done uh, using that as an analogy is process large amounts of data for operational workloads and really built an operational intelligence platform that allows you to look at terabytes of data in real time and make sense of it uh, in a way that's almost predictive to a certain degree. Uh, and which is where the name last nine also comes from because it's about, it's probably not going to be a 10 on 10, uh, but pushing that boundary of what nines you can achieve uh, by being operationally intelligent and sort of being able to deliver that value to a lot mm. of enterprise customers. And Cricket is a great example of that, right? Yeah, because you I did do, that for the IPL. We do that for the IPL, for the entire cricketing setup in the world where we power their operational workloads through the intelligent platform by delivering real-time insights. Uh, for a 90-minute IPL or a two, three hour IPL match, you need literally seconds to be able to respond to something in a way that's impactful, to be able to detect what's going wrong mm. and be able to respond to that and almost avert the situation. Uh, so what we're delivering with the technology is actually delivering on the ground impact by not just doing this intelligence, but do it, delivering it in real time uh, for some of these insights as decisions keep getting uh, faster. Mm. Uh, I think the feedback loop cycle has been too delayed for a lot long. Uh, we're bridging that gap to deliver a lot, lot of this value today. So on the back of what you've been able to do and the product that you've been able to put out and the service that you offer, you know, what has happened as far as latency is concerned, for instance? I mean, how much better uh, has it gotten? The fact that typically uh, in this case, whether you call about war rooms classically, we want more peace time than more war time, is how I put <laughs> Don't it. Don't we all. <laughs> and in that case, typically for engineering productivity and just software engineers everywhere, uh, war time is not uh, a great fun. At the same time, being able to detect issues 30, 60 minutes down the line when they've already happened and customers impacted uh, is too late. We do that literally in minutes, if not seconds, uh, and that's been a massive game changer for how customers are actually able to leverage this and actually improve their customer satisfaction in the end uh, by delivering a more reliable service, uh, which is not uh, cranky enough.